Okay, here she is. I'm gonna do a little walkthrough presentation. We'll start with the outside of the boat first. Starting up top with the anchor. And as you can see, it's in good shape. There's not really any, I'm not seeing or finding any scratches or dock rash on the side of the boat. It was lift kept, so. Even the pinstriping here, you can see, is in excellent condition for an 04. Very well maintained, slightly used. One little nick right here, right there. Um, the hull is in pretty darn good shape. It may need a quick buff or a wax, but um, it's popping pretty good for... Now, here we go. So back here at the decals, again, the pinstriping is in excellent condition for the year, but we got some marks right in here. And the one little one up front, and that's all we have on the starboard side. So let's uh, keep wrapping ourselves around the boat here. Back here is good. There's your hull number right here. Uh, SSU L6156130 Twin 200 four stroke Yamaha's under 300 hours. I'm gonna pause the video just for a second. I'm gonna pop these engine cowlings, show you how clean those engines are. Okay, the cowlings are off. Check this out super clean power head. I mean, there is no corrosion whatsoever, no salt intrusions or anything like that i mean it's just it's been very well maintained power head is super clean you can even see the gasket look at that gasket right here you know you look at it it's it's uh it's a good good shape they, they flushed it properly and they've uh they've maintained it properly and you can even see this little film here of uh like a like a greasy substance that's um when they do the 100 hour services they they uh they lube and they take care of the motor and that helps to uh, keep it in good condition too so Whoever's been working on this and maintaining it has done a great job. Yeah, so. Here, there you go. It's the second motor here on the starboard side. Very clean. You can see the filters, they've been changed on time. You can see how clean the filter is. There's, uh, you know, no, um, uh, what do you call uh, the older filters when people don't do their maintenance? The uh, fuel sticks to the sides of the containers, uh, the cartridges, and it makes a reddish, you know, um, uh, ring around the filters. None of that on this boat. Okay. Okay, going back around the uh, port side now. And uh, there's a little bump there on the rub rail. Uh, that looks like that'll buff out right there. Mark, but it'll buff out probably. No scratches, no dock rash. Looking good here. The pinstripe again on this side is good. Looking good, looking good. Okay, we've got a uh, little bit here, little 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 scratch there on the on the sticker. I mean, I'm sorry, on the pinstripe. Uh, no big deal. coming around the port side we are good nothing underneath the hole you got a, a little little scratch right there nothing major and the bottom is clean so that's the outside let's go to the inside okay let's put the Armstrong dive ladder up get in the boat here all right dive ladder all right aside from a quick wash this boat's gonna need a little quick bath on it uh, the customer that owned it before I did find out did replace the interior because you know it's an 04 so um, that was due and he uh, he uh, as he only took care of it he, he did the uh, required maintenance the upholstery as well. so there's the upholstery now here's the live well back here which does work um, oh that's this that's a freshwater hose wait where's the live well oh here it is I'm sorry right here that's the live well there so, and that does work. Some Coast Guard equipment in there. What this is? Oh, that's a table. That goes. That's pretty cool. So that's the storage for that. Close that up, and like this table just goes right like so 
Oh, there you go. Little cockpit table. Um, here's the aluminum. You can see there's no oxidation on the aluminum. Uh, it looks good. No pitting or anything like that, which is a really good sign of being maintained properly, being covered and, you know, taken care of. Uh, there is some, like here on the lights, these are just, you can see like, the, you know, that's got to get cleaned off. That's easy, a little bleach and water. Um, got some oxidation here for the, uh, um, some hardware for the rails on the rocket launchers that are right here. That's the only oxidation or anything that I see that's oxidizing. Stainless steel looks good all the way around. No pitting, no nothing. And then we get to the dash. Now I know the stereo doesn't work, so you're gonna have to replace the stereo. This stereo head unit's no good. Everything else works except for that stereo. And the autopilot works. And like I said before, this GPS is just old and obsolete. It needs to, I just, you need to put a new one in. And it's just, <laughs> and that's, it's not good. That's just old. Um, you saw pictures of the tacks, they work good. Um, let's go down to the cabin real quick. And as you can see down in the cabin, we do have Isenglass here. And it needs to be cleaned. It's a little dirty, but uh, it's good. It's in good shape. So. Just needs to get cleaned up. Battery switches here inside the boat. Nice tucked away. Pursuit does a really good job of with their circuit boards and bus bars and stuff like that. Just turn the batteries on this. And that's where you get your power. Um, this is the toilet. Of course, I told you before it's a it's a pump out, it's a flush toilet, so you would flush it here. And that's where you flush it. Uh, has a holding tank and uh, if you need to take a night sleep over in the boat you can cushions are in decent shape they're original uh, pursuit cushions and uh, they're not in bad shape for the age and that's that so I hope this video helps you give me a call if you have any questions thanks bye